everybody, Jay Smith back with you again. Uh, looking at Earth, Wind, and Fires in the Stone. If you're not familiar with the title, you're familiar with the song being played in the movie Drumline. Uh, it's in the key of B, and a lot of keyboard players are afraid of B. And church has conditioned a lot of folks to do that because a lot of gospel is played in your black keys. But these white keys like B and E natural and A, you have to learn these keys. And we're going to look at this song and maybe a couple others in these keys today. All right. It's in the key of B. So let's look at the beginning where it goes. I found that love provides the key. Unlocks the heart of souls of you and me. Love will learn to sing your song, yeah. When love is written in the stone, every man I meet is walking time. Free to wonder past his conscious mind. Love will come and take you home, yeah. Love is written in the stone. Skip to the chorus. In the stone. So let's look at the beginning. Just a regular B major chord. And we're not making a lot of fat stuff. And remember, gospel musicians, that's why when you come outside of gospel, stuff don't sound right. Everything doesn't have to be fat like this. You will take away from the integrity of the original piece if you play every chord where it has to look like this. So you got to get away from that. I feel you on this. But everything ain't Kojic. So when you get to this stuff, it has to be simple. It's written like this in actual earth, wind, and fire sheet music. So it's actually a B major. I found that love provides the key. Unlocks the heart of souls of you and me. So we move it down to A and keep the B. All right, here's your chance to get the fat chord. E minor 11. We play an E and we play the fifth, B. And a G major 7 chord on top of it that makes them flat third there's the 5th, there's the dominant 7 and there's the 9 and we can add that A making it the 11th that's the 4th or the 11th 1, there's the 2 flat third, there's the 11th da, 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 da. now next we have it appears to be an E major 7 chord over an F sharp. That's cool. And you and in you know intermediate books, you'll have that slash chord. You know, uh, E major seven with F sharp underneath it or G flat. And slash chords are cool, but you don't need to learn it that way. Learn the real theory because when it comes time to improvise, you'll be thinking major, but this is actually dominant. So it's actually G flat. There's the dominant seven nine. There's the eleven. Or the sus4, what we want to call that. And the 13. So the real name for that would be G flat 13 sus. There's the 13. There's the sus. Alright, the next chord would be G flat 13 sharp 11. You know your theory, that comes from the fourth mode of melodic minor. So we have. is 
some of the same chords back to B. In the stone, you'll find the. That's where it goes. In the stone, you'll find the reason. A13. You're not standing. So we have an A. There's our dominant 7, 9, 3, and our 13, or 6, however you want to look at it. In the stone, you'll find the meaning. You're not standing. These two chords again, the 13 sus, 13 sharp 11. it out with never excuse me so it goes from the one to the three of the key but I'm just gonna drop it now we do a real E major seven now we do an A major second inversion B flat major second inversion back to B flat Take your time and learn these keys. All right, let's look at the song Send One Your Love uh, by Stevie Wonder just as another example to show you why you can't transpose doing the sophisticated chords. Uh, just the first four chords moves through four keys. And finally ends up on A. So there's no way you could transpose and play this song. Another one in B of uh, uh, Sir Duke. Music is a world with a big sound, with a language we all understand. With an equal opportunity for all the singers to clap their hands. goes to E. That's why I'm doing this. It, it moves keys. She came from somewhere back in the long ago from the Doobie Brothers. But when he gets to that part, it says, uh, she
transpose playing stuff like that. So if you want to get out of transposing, you got to learn more than just gospel music. Because when they start doing congregational music, and you know, like I said, have you tried Jesus? They're going to start it out, and it's in one key, and you say it, and you can transpose the rest of your life and play in churches. But you can't play stuff like this, this moving keys, jazz, where every other line, the key changes. <laughs> And so run over those chords is moving in and out of different tonalities. It just conditions you to play in all of your keys. All right, so again, I encourage you learn these other keys A and B and D and E natural. F and C is pretty much easy. You know, you grow up, even if you grow up playing by ear, you know how to play in F and C because they're so much alike. All right, be blessed.